All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So we are getting ready to start a mission. Uh, we have the Mary Lenten mission. And it looks like we are almost there. So let's turn right here and... go do this fun mission i hope you guys have enjoyed this so far we've done quite a bit in this series but there is still fun to go um you know we haven't really got a chance to do much with micah really much with dutch yet either so those missions will start coming Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Yeah, we're going to help Mary, of course. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already do. You already owe me. Yeah, I uh, I forgot about this. The Chelonians. Come on now, boy. <laughs> that uh, religious cult. <laughs> They're gonna tell me where to go. Okay, let's uh, open up our map real quick so we can get this. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay. We got a little bit of a journey. So we'll pick up all, where I uh, pick up here in a minute. Yeah. So it looks like we are about to get here. We're almost to the top of the mountain. Now let's go save Jamie. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Undecided. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? All right, let's see what uh, two options we have, purpose or stupidity. The purpose is probably the right answer. Could try and do the stupidity version, uh, though. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Chill. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for Oh, we got a chase after Jamie! Yeah! I should have just threatened him. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. This is none of your damn business. <laughs> Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way.
mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. <sighs> now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Okay, we got a ride back to Mary's house. Oh, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Right, let's go into the uh, post office real quick. Glad someone's... Where yeah, buddy? Can you make it through? Make it quick or I might run off again. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father. 
father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. And it ends like that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. We definitely will. All right, now we got our missions. You all right there, buddy? Homeless hey, vet. Buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Ah, oh, man. I'll give you a nickel. Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. Well, how'd he die? It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <laughs> yeah, give me a hug, buddy. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. All right. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Yeah, we definitely have. All right, let's open up our map, though. I think he's still going to keep talking to us. That's okay, though. Um, Here we go. We got John Marston. Yes. And the kindness. Oh. All right, where's our horse at? Come on, buddy. So on the road to John Marston, I'm not going to skip ahead or anything like that. There's a Good evening, mister. always some cutscenes that happen or opportunities for us to do some other things. So yeah. figured now let's just keep uh, just keep heading on the trail. Yeah. Man, 
it's already night. Go ahead and hitch our horse. Good. Arthur, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money. And before they even realize that we're here, we're going to be gone again. And after that, I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur, you know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. I believe you, Dutch. I believe you're going to turn your back on all of us, though, too. Hey, Arthur. What's up, John? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right. Wagons that can be stolen for John are blipped with the wagon wheel. Evening. <laughs> Play that one game, the Five finger game. It's stabbed in the hand. we have know exactly where to get that wagon wheel see I was probably gonna go the wrong way if I didn't do that yep. see you John Hey, Look who we found! Bury him by! 
guys. Fuck did they shoot my horse? Why can't I revive Morgan? Alright, hold on a second. Not killing my fucking horse. I'm sorry, boy. Alright, I gotta get out of this uh, area first. I just earned myself another bounty. Okay, let's open the map up. And here is where I need to go.
so and kind of getting ready for this episode this part right here especially i uh yep. went to sleep woke up and the oil uh wagon was already running so it was kind of one of those things where you just jumped on it quick and grabbed it and here we are right now because we went there at night when they all that everyone was just saddled up for the night and then yeah as soon as i woke up it was uh yeah they were all moving Put that gun away, Arthur. Yeah. Tell John back at camp that the wagon is in position. John? In the meantime, I'm gonna go buy a new horse. We've got some money now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and spend it. So we could buy a horse. Oh, that's the only one we can get. I feel like Morgan's the horse that we have is better than that. For sale.
I can do that again. <laughs> Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Sure, we'll swap them for you. All right. I mean, we really don't need much else done. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. And that ain't nothing good. All right, this is my active horse. I can solely sell it for two dollars. Man. Well, thank you. Time to go see John. So we didn't end up buying a horse. I mean, the one that was there, I don't think is much better. I haven't had Tennessee Walker in a little while anyway, so I'm kind of glad we got get a chance to, to play with him again. Yeah, we can go do that side mission where we, uh, beat that person up for some money for Hosea, yeah. but let's stick to this. I mean, I was trying to help him. I'm not gonna loot a dead man. He doesn't have nothing anyway. Looks like we're back in camp.
All right. Excuse me, Bill. Time to go see old John Marston. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Man. <sighs> All right. Again, open up the map. We can help Abigail. Nice. There's Micah. All right, let's go help Abigail. Who did you call a goddamn oh, drunkard? Shut up, shit. See what I can do with her. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What are we going to do with old Jack? We just did watch him throw some rocks at uh, Theo Driscoll, which was messed up, but go have some fun with him. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'll mount up and All right, there's Tennessee you. Walker. Someone can get you another storybook. 
Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. I'll get him a story fish book. To catch first. Yeah. I can definitely do that. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Just by the water there, you mean? Yep, right over here, buddy. Grab our fishing pole. Well, first, we need some bait. Cheese bait? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Well, ignore that one, Jack. That was my mistake. Uncle Arthur! There we go. There we go. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Quickly rotate to reel the this fish is a in. Great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Pull down L okay, to drag man. the fish. I think so. This is hard. Heck yeah, it is. Why am I not catching any? Just be patient. You know, this reminds me, I taught another boy to fish once, a long time ago. You mean Lenny? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, this was long before I met Lenny. Long before you was even born. Come on, get that fish reeled in. Are we gonna... Maybe I just messed this up. I don't really freaking know. Oh, oh I did mess it up. Come on, we're almost there. He 
He's coming. There we go. Come on, buddy. You're mine. Look, Jack, it's a small mouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right. Let's see what's biting there. I like the look of that spot. Fish on the line. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, that's a baby. Oh, this one's a red fin picker. Not bad. Yeah, we'll keep it. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. <laughs> boring as hell. All right. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Uh -oh. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Oh, all right. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are 
his name? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. All right, let's go. Are you taking me back? Yeah, Jack, I got you, buddy. I'd be kind of messed up to leave you. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Maybe we could keep taking Jack fishing with us. That'd be kind of cool. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and... Uh, fellow's name Ross Milton and Ross and, and they are employees of the Pinkerton detective agency and they know about the train and they know we're here well, you followed back here no they know we're near here and they want you Dutch they offered me my freedom in exchange they did why didn't you take it <laughs> very funny well what do we do now I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived the mountains. We just need to stay calm. Just stay calm. Okay, but we just completed a Fisher of Men, and we do have to go find a uh, storybook Bill? for young Jack. Uh, but so you you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. And what did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Like I was saying, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. we got a long, long ways to go. But um, we'll be back soon. Until next time, everyone.